So yeah, these above my head right now, these were used to rotate the actual cap of the, uh, the windmill. So this section on there would be rotated via these gears. It's a bit crazy really. I mean, check, mm -hmm. see the actual hallways and stuff. I'm guessing that, uh, guessing that was to control the speed of it turning, maybe the wind was like too heavy or something like that, not yeah. too hard, so it's, that's just to slow down, because they have these on lifts as well, Yeah. And if, if, if anything fails, the ball spin out and it slows Stops it down. It. Yeah, yeah, the brake system. Yeah, the brake system, yeah. So, I don't know what um, this chain's about. It's where they used to... Um, on there, I think they used to um, lift the bags up, I don't know, something like that. Or oh, it is. Them down. Yeah, because that kind of looks like a trap door system. Yeah, that's what it says. Hold on. Yeah, the grain is hoisted up through a double trap door, so they would have hoisted the grain up through there, put it in the mill, and then it got milled. Oh, well, crazy. It was in last full working order in 1918. A violent storm caused severe damage. After this, it continued to work for six years, but only when the wind was in the southwest. In 1954, the sails and cap were lost in another storm, leaving it badly damaged. And then in 1937, the Royal Commissions on Monuments in Wales mentioned the mill, and it was added to their list. Um, although considerable local interest in restoring the mill in 1953, it was not until 1978 that the Borough Council bought the mill and the outbuildings together with four and a half acres of land for £10,000. Mm. That actually shows the pictures there, I'm guessing that was yeah, the damage from, evidence. yeah, so that you can see it's all like snapped off and stuff there big time. And you've got like the gears and rotor, you know, the rotary stuff. I guess this is obviously this is the restoration old, pictures. An old picture as well. And this is from when it was actually back in the heyday. The last the Miller, screen. which is him, is called Robert Rowlands. It's pretty steep, right? Uh, pretty damn steep. Alright, we're gonna go to the top first. Not sure why, but anyway. If you want to see the state of this. Whoa. Alright now. Shut off. Down. So what's this then? This is the winch to winch up the grain. Is it? Yeah. So yeah, that's where the bags will be lifted up. So you come to the top here, you put the grain in. Where would you put the grain? No idea. So you say you put the grain in somewhere, it comes down, burns it all. Why would it? In there? You'd pour it in, I would imagine, because there's a hole there. Yeah. You see the hole, so it'd go. And then shoot into the main corner and start yeah. playing as it goes down. Yeah. I think. <laughs> so yeah, basically they said when we came in that They've had to tie the what's calm down. Sails. They've had to tie the sails down because yeah. it's that windy, and you can hear the wind in It's proper blowing a gale, but you can see the sails there. They've, they're not moving. But I'm guessing, obviously, when 
you know, they've actually got it all all going. This is all turning and all the gears downstairs and things are. So it's quite interesting. Very interesting. Too bad we put a windy day. <laughs> right, this is this is how steep these are. This is ridiculous. Alright, that's Sam pretty much stood up straight. You can see the angle of the stairs, Jesus Christ. So yeah, I'm guessing this would all be turning. Well, you can see the size of that, it's absolutely huge. It's massive, isn't it, that gear? Yeah. Well, it's good that they've actually restored it because all over Anglesey you can see uh, revenants of windmills that are pretty much either foundations or they've been turned into houses, but it's good to see, obviously they've restored it to what it would have been. I'm guessing this is all the original stuff that's still in there, but they just maintained it and made, made it actually safe and working. Very cool. Jesus Christ. It's probably Right, I'm going to have to shout because uh, it's proper windy, but this is basically saying the ruined mill during the 1950s and it's basically pictures of what it looked like from the outside. That. The, the um, bow and arrow thing there. That's actually uh, for starting fires. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, for the. Oh, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You wanna go? Look like an old school. Um... Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you know. You can get this hot. That's all you do. Yeah. Put that there. Lock on top. Tap down that. Oh yeah. Okay, you're cool. Cool. I'm glad I've come here today. If the world goes crazy, then um. You run all the way. Yeah. Just needed to survive. Yeah. I'll be off into the hills and that'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need bear grills. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, I think I've done it wrong though. In there, can you say wrap around that? I can't do it. Yeah, you've got to wrap it around so it goes around once. Like that? Yeah. And then that in there. That in there. <laughs> oh, we're done. <laughs> it's not squeaking like yours did though. <laughs> I need a squeak. Oh, that's squeaking. Oh! I'd probably be best standing on it, wouldn't I? Oh, no, feel it though. Might still be warm from, from this young gentleman. Yeah, I feel it, yeah. That's cool. Right, get this on camera because I need to know <laughs> what implements I need. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's if it. you're going for bear grills, I mean, you need to learn how to make a hammer, don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right. Jesus. <laughs> Hold it. Yeah. 
Hey, that's smart, that. So, right, river pebble, beach pebble, whatever you want. Yeah. Piece of hazel, straight piece, twist it. How do you know when you've got some hazel? <laughs> if you go outside, yeah. look on the boards for the le hazel tree leaf. Okay. And then just look for the tree with that leaf, that's it. Hazel's generally this sort of colour, sort of brownish okay. tree there, like that. And it's, tends it's very flexible. So you get a straight piece of that, twist it, bend it over the pebble. Yeah. And you see that stuff? You know yeah. when you go to like a pet shop, you can yeah, buy those leather dog, dog tubes. tubes and stuff? Yeah. Soak that in hot water, tie it around, that's what it is. No way. Same wow. stuff, it's sinew. That's crazy, that, isn't it? So. And then you tie some at the bottom as well. Because that, that's all that's missing at the bottom now, it's cracked. And then you can make a hammer. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm really glad I've come out again. Eh? No, I am. <laughs> what are you going to be doing in your spare time? Well, Making you don't hammers. Know, <laughs> you never know. We, we could go back to prehistoric times just like that. It's cool. Well, is that some, uh, we've got some leather there as well. Yeah, that's a uh, sling. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you put your stone in there. All you do is just sort of spin it like that. Then you just let one end go. No way. The stone should travel where you want it to go. <sighs> and at the age of 12, children would learn to be able to hit a crow at 20 paces with one of these. Well, no way. It was a life skill just to keep the crows off your corn. That's why uh, <clears throat> David beat Goliath because he was a master with a slingshot. Is that what it is? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. 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 Straighten his head. It's crazy, Someone isn't it? tried to do that apparently, and it was very, very hard. He, he, they got an expert uh, world leader in this thing, and it took him about 12 shots to get it. He was saying David was either a crack shot or he was very lucky. Yeah. No way. It's madness, isn't it? It's a nice piece of kit you got there, that camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look at it and I'm thinking, oh, that's nice. Is that a, wa is that a walking stick, that? No, that, that's actually a druidic quarter staff. So, I think I hold it. Yeah. So, the Druids... They're really important now. Or the Druidesses were very, very important people in society. They were ranked number one. Definitely would have been me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So, they, would have, they were above a blacksmith and they were above a king as, a, as well. So, black, Druid, blacksmith, king, warrior, and the rest. Maybe I could have been a warrior, though. So. Maybe I was everything... <laughs> could have been multi-talented yeah, yeah, multi yeah. could have been but the druids were lawmakers they were poets they were medicine women or men they were uh, they were the only people that could directly talk to the gods as well no oh. one else had that authority it's me and um, <laughs> they would travel around with these the, the copper strips are just to attract attention because yeah. if you can imagine in the sun it will shine, shine yeah. Yeah. you see where they're coming from and it's a quarter staff as well, is because although you didn't have to worry about the neighbours attacking you, or the people, because they knew right away you never animals. mess with the druid, wild animals wouldn't care, so they go for yeah. it. So you could use that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Cool. But they were based on Anglesey, the druidic faith was based here, apparently. Um, there was a lot, it was like the Mecca of Rome, the druidic yeah. faith. Yeah, no way. used to come from Spain to be druids. But the Roman army came here and they wiped it out. Yeah. Right, so this now is the bakery. So it was originally a small cottage called, can't say that word. Ticariul. In 1881, a recently widowed mother lived there with five children, four daughters aged three to 14 year, three and 14 years and a son of three months old. Their fathers had carried... Had been it? the carrier at the mill. The son's name was Henry William Williams, who is possibly the same William Williams who was the carrier for the mill for Robert Rowlands, the miller between 1892 and 1923. William Williams also raised a large family in the cottage. Cool. So this is what it would have uh, looked like. An artist impression of it. Oh yeah. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah. So that's the baker anyway. 
pretty damn small. This is the main oven section. That's where you did our fire and it'll come round. You have the big chimney there as well. Anyway, that's it. We've had uh, what round? What? Slinon Mill. Yeah, that, whatever it's called. Slinon Mill, whatever. See some uh, Iron Age huts as well. I've learned how to make a fire. Yeah, you've learned how to make a fire. Some cool stuff in there. But it's a replica, it's not even a legitimate Iron Age. <coughs> yeah, what is it? It's it's a replica of settlements of like that would have been on Anglesey. Oh yeah. Um and there were a lot of them until the Romans came. Yeah. So and they said there's some some kind of special rock down the road. Some mystical what's the word, Sherry? Shamanic. Shamanic business. Yeah. That one. Mystical features. It was split in half by lightning. Yeah, that one. So Never know, I might go visit that rock. <laughs> I might extract the rock and put the mystical powers in my house. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's where I was going. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, and please subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>